Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn how to export your AutoCAD files into Revit. Let's go. I have this floor plan here with me that I would like to bring into Revit. Before we go ahead and bring this into Revit, we have to make sure that we purge all the unused lines and layers that might cause inaccuracies within the model. So I'm just going to type purge and it's going to bring up this menu. I'm going to click on purge all and purge all. Watch all check items and press close. Okay, now that's good. The last thing we want to do is type W block. This function lets us tell AutoCAD where to place it once we bring it into the Revit model. I'm going to pick entire drawing and press OK. I'm going to replace this. Sounds good. So now this is good for exporting into Revit. I'm just going to save my file. Control S. Sounds good. Now let's go into Revit. Now we are in Revit, let's bring it in. Before bringing AutoCAD files into Revit, it's important we do it correctly by using the Link CAD option. This is because using any of these other functions on here will cause you problems later on while you've progressed the model and we don't, we don't want that. Another importance of using the Link CAD option in Revit is that any progress that you make in your AutoCAD file and you reload it back in Revit, the progress will be updated in Revit, giving you an efficient and non-destructive workflow while working in Revit. So I'm going to go to Link CAD and find my file. This is it. Now pay close attention to these settings. I'll make sure I bring it as a black and white, make sure that it's importing all the layers and levels. I'll leave this as auto detect and this is good. Origin to internal origin. I'm going to bring it in at the level zero that I have. And also make sure you click to orient to view. Once you're happy with these settings, click on open and there you have it. This is an efficient and non-destructive way in bringing in AutoCAD files and importing it into Revit. If you've made progress on this file in AutoCAD and you're wondering how to relink it, let me show you how to do it. Under the Manage tab, click on Manage Links and go to CAD Format. As you can see, this is what we have in here. Let's say two months down the line, I've updated this design. I can just click on this and click on Reload and automatically any changes I've made in AutoCAD will be reflected in my Revit. I hope this helps and I hope this improves your workflow in the future. My name is Ibukai Dafum. See you on the next one.